I've been everywhere. When I say everywhere, I don't obviously literally mean everywhere. My point is I've been basically all over the world. One of the places I've been to is Baghdad, Iraq. Not many people have been there who are not from Iraq. It's difficulty of visas, blah, 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 blah. I was in Baghdad earlier this year. I don't have to tell you why. But the point is this. I was there. And the craziest thing for me when I got to Iraq, you expect to see and hear a whole bunch of crazy things. But the things, there's three things that really stood out to me. One, there was cosmetic surgery clinics everywhere, which I thought was really weird. Like, all the Iraqi women are getting cosmetic surgery. The second thing that surprised me, I guess, which I didn't really expect, is that you saw there's money in Iraq. You see some Porsches. You know, inside of the hotels, there's Rolex stores. You can charter private jets. There's certainly money in Iraq. Don't be fooled for a second thinking there's no money there because of the war. Yeah, America plundered a lot of it, but there's plenty left. And the third and most crazy thing to me is there was Chinese people everywhere. I may as well have been in Beijing when I was in Iraq. The Chinese were everywhere. And the reason they were there is because China is rebuilding Iraq. You have to understand how the world works, but basically it's very simple. The Western world makes up a bullshit reason to destroy a country. America sends American men to die and spends trillions of dollars turning a prosperous country into a shithole. Once it's a shithole, it needs rebuilding. But the country can't rebuild itself because it doesn't have the technical know-how, doesn't have the manpower, doesn't have the resources, doesn't have the fucking minerals, whatever they fucking need. So they have to go to someone and say, please, can you build our country in return for money? But the Western world won't rebuild the country because they're under some sanction for human rights violations or some other bullshit. So basically, America fucks the country up, and the only person who has the technical know-how, the materials, the manpower, the skill set, and the will to fix their country is China. If you go to any of these countries, China's rebuilding them. Every highway being built in Africa is built by the Chinese. Iraq is being rebuilt by the Chinese. Syria will be rebuilt by the Chinese. The Chinese are rebuilding all of this. American men go and die, and Chinese businessmen come and make fucking billions and billions of dollars in profit. How stupid is that? But that's the reality of the situation. Well, the reason I'm saying this is I was watching the news the other day, and I like to read the news that no one else gives a shit about. If you scroll right down to the very, very, very bottom, you can see some interesting news that isn't reported because most people don't give a shit. But basically, Africa and its prosper, Africa is trying to become prosperous as every, as every other country is, and they're doing huge business with the Chinese. There's schools in Africa now teaching Chinese. Most Africans speak their native language in Chinese. There is no English needed anymore. China, the only people doing business with Afri Africa because, well, three reasons. One, they don't give a fuck about any kind of violation or sanction, what other countries do. Two, they're fearless. The Chinese are fearless, bro. Me and my brother were eating a kebab in Iraq. We're sitting there eating a kebab. You start to hear an AK. We're like, what the fuck? We start looking around. Chinese don't even look. They don't even care. They're just sitting there eating a kebab, yeah, AK. If you're going to shoot me in the head, shoot me in the head. But if not, I've got work tomorrow. They're straight about the money. And this is the third point. The Chinese will go anywhere for cash. If I'd say to you right now, you can make $10,000 a month if you go and live in the Democratic Republic of the Congo in a forest with malaria, do you want to go? They'll say, no, it ain't worth the money. Whereas a Chinese person is like, yeah, money, yeah, okay. If there's money, they'll go. They don't give a shit where they end up as long as they get paid.